Good morning, friends. It's May, and during the month of May, we love to honor the Virgin Mary. And during the month of May, we have a May crowning at our school. And Miss Rolla is making a video to show you how you can have a May crowning at your home. I would like to show you all around me are these white flowers. All around. I'm really lucky to live near a place that has white these white flowers. And you know what these white flowers come from? They grow right here on clover. You see this three-leaf clover? That's where the white flowers grow from. So if you can look at all the clover, all of these white flowers, they're just weeds. They grow everywhere. But they're so pretty and they're so easy to find. And they have these long stems and these are the flowers that we're gonna to use today. And I'm gonna show you how you can make a crown. I grew up making crowns out of these flowers and I taught my children how to make crowns out of these flowers. Not only a crown, but it could be a necklace or a bracelet. So I'm gonna show you today how you can make your own crown. And it's nice and easy and it's so easy to find these flowers. So the first thing you need to do is you take the flower and you break it off. You want to have a long stem. See how nice and long this stem is? Because on this stem, we're going to make a little knot. So I'm going to bring this down here so you can see. Here's my long stem. How do I make a knot? Well, I twist, gently twist my stem like this. See how it's twisted? Just like you're making a loop. You just twist it and then you take the end and you put it through the hole. At first it can be a little tricky. That's why we want our stem to be nice and long and then you pull it but don't pull it all the way because you want to leave a little bit of a gap like that because the next flower that you pick you're gonna wheel put it through this little gap right there. The gap in your knot. So here's our first flower. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna take another flower. Nice long stem. There's a couple bumblebees around, but they won't bother me. If we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. And I'm gonna put my flower through that gap and pull it through until it stops. And then guess what I get to do? You make another loop. You loop it around and you pull it. And now we have another one. And we keep on going with this process over and over again until we make a crown or a bracelet. And we can keep on going. You can make it as big as you want. If you want to only make a small one, then that's fine too. If you have a really big stem, like this is a really big one. Look at how big that is. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna make a loop and I will have fewer flowers on it, but I want to, don't want to take too much time because I want to show you what it can look like at the end. So maybe I could have this gap in the back of my crown. But we are making a flower crown in a nice easy way and you might even have these flowers in your very own backyard. It's a relaxing thing to do on a nice day outside. Keep on going. Let's see, is it big enough yet? Put it around. See, if you have more flowers, it looks better. Not yet, I think I might need a couple more. It will look better when there's more flowers on it. And I'll post a picture separately of a really nice one with a lot of flowers on it. You can't do that with all we cannot make this with every kind of flower because not all flower stems will bend like this. If you bend some flower stems, they would break. And not all flowers are you allowed to just pick. These are flowers that you're allowed to pick, like dandelions. You're allowed to pick those pretty much whenever you want to also. But they, those stems would not bend and you would not be able to make this kind of crown with those flowers because they're sticky inside. A 
dandelion is white, has white sticky stuff in their stem that smells funny and it is oozy and icky and you're not gonna wanna do that. So at the end, we have our flower and I'm just gonna tie the last one around the flower. Tie it around that little head of the flower. Push around. See, push it through on the head. And now look, I've got my circle. It could be a necklace. A pretty necklace. See how pretty that is? Or it could be a crown. Let's see. It could be a crown. See, made it a little bit too big maybe, but here's my flower crown. I can sit right on my head. Can you make a flower crown for May Day? Isn't that pretty? Anywhere you are, anytime if you're outside sitting and relaxing, you can make your own flower crown. Or you can make a bracelet. You can make one for Mommy, for Mother's Day. That would be a nice idea. Enjoy making your crown.